Welcome to the basement, everybody. I'm your host, 90s Basement Kid, and I'm back yet again with another movie review. This time, it's uh, continuing my line of Nicolas Cage flicks, and that is the most recent venture he's done, Color Out of Space. Now, this is a very interesting movie because it's uh, H.P. Lovecraft's story. Uh, if you're not familiar with H.P. Lovecraft, he is a horror writer from the early 1900s. You know, he's literally a classic, you know, type of person, but... You know, it's funny to call it that because, I mean, his writing is very dark. It's very, you know, for some people it can be depressing, I think. You know, it's cosmic horror, which if you're not familiar with what that means, it's basically a very deep and dark existential look at, you know, our reality, the things that we face, and, you know, kind of our place out here in the universe. But this movie was directed by Richard Stanley, who is, to me, one of the more interesting filmmakers just due to his story. Um, there's a great Netflix documentary called Lost Souls, about you know the incident that essentially took him out of filmmaking for 25 years or so. Uh, he was supposed to make The Island of Dr. Monroe, ended up being a huge disaster. There's a Netflix documentary all about it that you should watch. I'm not going to take the time here to talk about it, but he's a very interesting director who had his career you know essentially cut short, it seems. But he's back with this film, and he does a fantastic job with it. And it's a great horror movie. It's definitely over the top and extreme and even disturbing at times. So might not be for everybody, but if you're somebody who likes that sort of things, like me, then it's a fantastic film. You know, there's definitely times where it's over the top, but never too much so that it really ruins the story. It really kind of fits the theme of just the surrealness of what's going on with, you know, the events that unfold. There's, I'm not going to talk about it too much in the detail about plot lies because I'll be honest, you should really just see this movie. It comes out February 24th, video on demand. You should watch it any means you can. I mean, torn it if you have to, I guess, but really you don't want to pay for to see this movie because it's fantastic if you like horror flicks. It's just out of this world. The uh, cinematography and the colorization design is just outstanding. Um, I know it's only February now. It's January when I saw the movie, but I really think there's going to be a very hard time for any other movie to be a more successful horror movie than what this already was. It's kind of a shame it's not getting a wide release because I think, you know, it was very stunning to see in a theater, and I think, you know, it'll be fine watching it at home, you know, especially if you, if you have, I'll put it to you like this, if you have anything you like to do to alter your mind, you definitely want to do that before this movie, because it's designed to sort of be, you know, ideal for that sort of situation, but it's a fantastic horror movie, I can't give it enough credit, and I really enjoyed it a lot, and it's definitely worth watching, especially if you love Nicolas Cage and his sort of outlandish kind of performance style, because he does an excellent job in this movie. The character he plays, you know, goes from being just this doofus loser to something else entirely, and then just, you know, I just don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get into it because I don't want to spoil anything in the story, but I'm just telling you, this movie is amazing and you should see, definitely see it, especially if you like horror. Well, this has been another episode of 90s Basement Kid. Hit that like and subscribe at the bottom, and we'll be back very soon with uh, more reviews and more just general content as well. Thank you very much. Peace.